I'm going through some challenging moments in my life right now. Instead of hiding my feelings, I thought I'd make a video on this and show you guys how I deal with feeling sad, alone, and afraid. Highlighting the fact that we all deal with these emotions and that it's okay to feel this way. I want you to know that you're not alone. Whatever you feel in that moment, just feel it. Don't suppress it. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to be angry, be angry. And if you want to smile, then smile. Your feelings are valid, and you shouldn't ignore it. At least, that's what I've learned. I guess this video is more for me than anyone else. I'm going through a rough patch in my life, but I want myself to know that it's going to be okay. When I go through life-challenging moments, I like to give back to myself to remind me that I'm worthy and loved. After all, if you're not going to love yourself, who else will? We can each find our own streams of self-care and self-love to revitalize our spirits and rejuvenate our souls. Bringing it back to basics, taking time to unplug and focusing on the essentials, not the extra or the unnecessary. As much as we give out to the world, there should be a greater pouring back in, whether that's relishing in moments of solitude, self-care, or meditation. Noticing that these are all actions that don't require others, don't require money, but fully actionable by just being yourself. Being in nature has so many benefits. It removes the variables that causes tangles in thoughts, it allows for a more honest sense of self and gravity for what really matters. Taking in nature ignites my spirit and gives me so much joy. Meditating while hearing the natural sounds of the water streaming by, helping me reduce my daily stress and toxic thoughts that run through. The busyness quiets, and the peace sets in. I like to run a bath, add some bubbles, and feel my shoulders start to drop. I just melt into it all. It's not about getting more stuff or doing more things, but actually stripping down water to skin while your stress subsides. As much as I want to feel good on the inside, I also want that to reflect on the outside. When we're stressed, our bodies pump out hormones that divert energy away from usual functions of skin detoxification. To help aid that, I like to be on top of my skincare and even treat myself to a mask. There should be a lot more time spent taking care of yourself that often gets lost just by dealing with life on a day-to-day -day basis. I get it. But when I'm feeling really down, I genuinely enjoy doing these things for myself because it makes me feel good. Sometimes I do the whole nine yards. I'll give myself a massage using natural oils and even do my nails because why not? Sometimes people feel like pampering themselves is unnecessary because there's no one to look good for, but you should be looking and feeling good for yourself. That's why even on the days I don't leave the house, I still like to do my makeup. I don't do this every day, but it helps me gain that extra boost of confidence I'm lacking on that day. 
Before I begin journaling, I light my stick of Palo Santo to help aid my space with cleansing energy and for healing. The scent is strong and uplifting. I let the smoke move around the room to clear the heaviness and any unwanted energy. I find that when I'm going through difficult times, writing out my thoughts really help me cope with whatever I'm going through. It helps guide me to think clearly and make important connections between my thoughts and feelings. I'm able to reflect and just let go of everything that constantly takes over my mind. I don't just do this when I'm down, but I also love doing this when I'm at my most high. Sharing these moments in a written form allows me to seal my thoughts and even go back and reflect on those moments and see how far I've come since then. Journaling has helped my overall sense of gratitude and has changed my way of thinking. It has taught me to appreciate every little moment in my life, good or bad. I touched on a lot of self-love activities that genuinely helped me to get out of a funk. But sometimes the most important thing that helps me is just by being with my dogs. I found Luna back in October and it's been one heck of a ride. She completes my little family and now I have not only one dog to distract me, but two. One constantly seeking for love and attention while the other just wants to play all day. The two together are a handful, but brings me so much joy. To close out this video, I like to read this quote I found that really resonated with me. Loving ourselves takes time. It doesn't happen overnight because it has taken us a lifetime to come up with all the reasons why we shouldn't. Embrace that the healing journey can sometimes be long and there's really no place to get to. If you're beating yourself up or judging yourself for not being enough, let this be the moment where you let that go and come home to the love that resides within you. Be gentle with yourself in this process. This is about you learning to truly be with all of yourself.